Hello, Mitchell. Don't you fucking move. I could ask the same of you. He's hacking into our exo! Come out of ammo! You rely too much on those things. The city is falling, it's over! What I have started won't end with me. It's bigger than me, and it's certainly bigger than you! You think I'm a monster? That's only because you don't have the conviction to do what's necessary. Necessary? The attack on America? Unleashing Manticore? Killing thousands of innocent people? I'm saving the world from itself. When there's no one left to challenge Atlas, there will be no more wars. There had to be sacrifices along the way. Yeah. Twisted fucks throughout history have used the same argument. I don't know who stopped the launch. They'll bring this entire building down on top of you! I could have killed you in the prison camp. I could kill you now. But I won't. I'm not a monster. Mitchell, pull me up. I'm not letting go. So you've got to pull me up. Mitchell, there's only two choices. You either pull me up, or this whole building goes down and we go down with it. Mitchell! What are you doing? What are you doing? Mitchell! I gave you that arm. Mitchell! I gave you a second chance! I've got you, mate. I've got you. It was only gonna end one way for him. Irons gave me a second chance. And I gave it back. He thought he could solve the world's problems. If he did have the answer, he took it with him to the grave. But he was right about one thing. This wasn't the end. It was just the beginning. I wasn't planning on doing a Call of Duty video. I was actually hoping to record my first Overwatch 2 gameplay. My first time ever playing Overwatch. For the first time since I never played the first. But Overwatch 2 was having server problems. So yeah. But anyway. This... I did not expect to see leaked early or possibly be coming. Well, I guess the word is leaked since nothing's official, but... So Call of Duty Advanced Warfare 2 has been leaked for 2025, apparently. So take with a grain of salt. Nothing's been confirmed. Nothing's official. But it's... Apparently on Twitter it was trending and a friend of mine on Xbox and... and messaged me and said apparently Advanced Warfare 2 was leaked it and I honestly think if this is true that, that it was pitched to Activision and was given the green light to go for development I think this is the right move and plus I think this was going to ha possibly happen a couple months ago I said um, with them adding a laser gun to Vanguard and Warzone that they're possibly teasing Advanced Warfare 2 for 2025. Since apparently there's no COD coming out next year. And Treyarch's next game is not coming until 2024. To be honest, I think this is probably the right idea. Because and if Advanced Warfare 2 is happening, I'm actually kind of excited. Because I wasn't the biggest Advanced Warfare fan. And for those who know me, I'm not a big fan of futuristic jetpack CODs with laser guns. Blah, blah, blah. But... Advanced Warfare 2 had a really good campaign, and and Irons, played by you know who, we all, sh we all know can't come back because they're you know what, but 
he says what is started is bigger than me, so there's still war we have to tell in the story. And Mitchell says the war between Atlas, this wasn't the end. It's only just the beginning. So I want him to finish that story for Advanced Warfare 2. And I think I would be really most excited for the campaign to see how does the war finish. Plus, I want to see Mitchell again, Gideon, and I think her name's Winda, I think. If I get it wrong, I get it wrong, but I think this would be the best move because people, majority of the fan base are tired of World War One and Two Call of Duties and Advanced Warfare 2 was Sledgehammer's original idea for their next game for COD 2017, but Activision said no due to the hate the Infinite Warfare trailer got and People were tired of three futuristic Call of Duties in a row. They wanted boots on the ground. Then after 2017, we all they were supposed to develop Cold War in 2020, but they had to switch developers to Treyarch, and then they were moved to 2021, which became Call of Duty Vanguard. And the Call of Duty Vanguard, in which, in my opinion, I think it was the best Call of Duty we had since Ghost in World War II. But I know a lot of people don't like Vanguard. I thought it was better than Modern Warfare 2019 when it came to multiplayer, but not campaign. But we're all entitled to an opinion. You don't have to agree with me. Just agree with me. to disagree. I thought Vanguard had better multiplayer, even though it was just Modern Warfare with a World War II skin. But... Anyway, that's my opinion. Apparently, Sledgehammer Games had plans for sequels for Vanguard, but after the not-so-well performance of the game, it would probably be best to not make sequels to Vanguard. And this is coming from someone who liked it, but I didn't play long after release. I did stop in January, just because of... Call do you not have the old prestige system for three years in a row? Just to be honest, what other choice or direction Sledgehammer Games has left? A lot of people consider them the fall or the death of Call of Duty. A lot of people consider them failures on COD for three years in a row, and they get a lot of hell for exosuits, boost jump in, uh, supply drops, bear weapon variations, and they also get hell. A lot and want Activision to fire Sledgehammer and never make caught again. One good thing Advanced Warfare did give us was the firing range when we had created class unlocked and we got to test out our weapons and attachments before going into matches. And when we did unlock more guns, we got to weed the lobby and go test out our created class weapons that we unlocked which was really good. Another reason why I hope it's true it's Advanced Warfare is because they have another cliffhanger they gotta finish. is the exo-zombies, and I wasn't a big fan of exo-zombies. I want to see what happens in this alternate timeline to Gideon, and plus, John Malkovich's character awakes. I don't... At the end of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, DLC 4 end credits, if it's Advanced Warfare 2 in 2025, multiplayer is going to have some changes. It's probably going to go back to a pick 10 creative class. Kill streaks will no longer be part of it because it was a pick 13. Kill streaks will be separate. It won't be part of your creative class. Exo abilities would most likely make a return. Hopefully, they last pick our abilities like in the first game. But if this week is true and 2025 is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare 2, Sledgehammer is going to have to learn from their mistakes. I'm pretty sure they would. Because there would be huge changes. One, there would be no more supply drops anymore. They can't do pay to win anymore. It would be just a battle pass. And what I hope for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare 2, if the week is true and this is going to be the game for 2025, is please no operators, specialist abilities, just let us create our own character or pick a head and have base game outfits that we can unlock through challenges and have four outfit 
to to five or ten outfit slots. And you can still make money off the battle pass, like just to have some outfits that are not unlockable. You can still make money off of the battle pass. So that's fine. But what I think of Advanced Warfare 2, if it happens, what they need to do is, is also let us pick our own specialist abilities. Like, I'm pretty sure they would do that again, but... Like I said, there would be new changes to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare 2 if it happens, because now we have dismantling lobbies, which I, I don't think they're going to change. Um, the old prestige system might not be there again, so that's unfortunate. But this is years down the road. We don't know what they would do. But I hope they have the old prestige system. If they bring it back either in Modern Warfare 2 when the full game launches or COD 2024, I hope either this year or the near future would be 2024 if they're not releasing a Call of Duty game next year in 2023 or in the far future. One of these titles or all of these titles have the old prestige system back because it would be nice to have it back. I miss it when you had to unlock all your guns again, go back to level one in the prestige mode, unlock all your attachments, and the grind was worth it. You can still have people grind for the battle pass, but have us like unlock all our guns again. It would make more replay. For X zombies, go keep it the way it was back in 2014-15. For sets of characters, no operators. What made Treyarch's original zombies and exo zombies good, even though I wasn't a big fan of exo zombies, was the cast of characters it had. Operators just don't do that for me. So yeah, have us um, start with a pistol, not any gun off the bat or an exo suit. Make us earn it. It was more challenging back then for zombies back then. Speaking of zombies, it's going to be different this time around. Because there's no more season pass. The last time we had a season pass was for Black Ops 4, which was developed by Treyarch. So yeah, I'm sure Switchhammer will learn from their mistakes, add more maps at launch, possibly two of the three, which would be good. And that's all I have to say for zombies. Uh, for multiplayer. I have nothing else to say. Oh yeah. Make the maps good. Have a bunch of new maps. You can have some old maps, but don't just constantly recycle old maps. Um, uh, make the maps have ladders for people that want to play in a classic mode playlist without extra movement. Because in the Mats Warfare 1, when you played classic, it was so slow pace and you needed an exo suit. So, have the maps good for bolt playlist and the last few things i will have to say is bring back exo survival against uh enemies that aren't, aren't zombies like soldiers and all that because that was a good uh third mode until exo zombies took over for advanced warfare campaign let us have exo abilities that we can upgrade just like in the first one and this will probably be a good looking call of duty if they weren't from their mistakes and it's probably going to be a good looking like I said because it will be on a new engine. Well last things I want to mention. Guns. Bring back a lot of the old guns from Advanced Warfare but also come up with a bunch of new guns. You can also add old guns for nostalgia as DLC weapons for updates. Um, add a, new exo abilities, have them balanced. And one thing for the campaign, if they are making Advanced Warfare 2 and it's going to continue the story, I wonder where it's going to, like, take place a couple years since, or maybe where exactly it wept off where it was back in 2014. Like, an example of stuff that came out a long time ago, but a sequel comes out years, years later was Incredibles 2. It started exactly where the first one went off so didn't do a major time skip one thing i hope they can do it for the campaign is get the original voice actors that survived the game 
back. Because keep in mind, in 2025, we'll mark 11 years since Advanced Warfare 1. Because Advanced Warfare 1 came out 2014. That's a long time to wait for a sequel. And one last thing, if they're going to continue this Battle Royale stuff, it does interest me. A futuristic Battle Royale with exosuits, abilities, boost jumping, and futuristic weapons like laser guns, um, vehicles, uh, the Titanfall-like uh, armor robot, and they'll probably come up with a bunch of new kill streaks as well that are futuristic for in the Advanced Warfare universe. So, if they're going to do Advanced Warfare Battle Royale Warzone, that makes me interested. But anyway, that's all I have to say. Like, if So take all this with a grain of salt. Nothing's confirmed, but if this is true, I'm at some pretty hype for 2025. But sorry for taking too much of your time. I know this is a long video. I just wanted to explain a few things.